Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were Technically, here. it was after this cutscene. Okay. I think. Because the last thing in the last video was... And then, like, immediate cut right after that. He's gonna do the hua thing. Look at his crazy eyes. There we go. And we're back! On the train. The train to Geth Town. The train to I fix the volume in the recording town. <laughs> or at least I will have fixed it. I'm sorry if the last five episodes were a bit quiet on our end. Um, I'll... It'll be better now. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Sorry, on that one. Shut this down. Shut this all down. Shut it down! What? What? Who's that from? Ghostbusters. Oh. No, there was. Wasn't there a. A. A, a guy that was like, shut it down! I know. I'm trying probably. To, <laughs> there's, I'm trying probably to think. There's, there's probably a lot of uh, movies that have a line like that. Um, I thought O'Reilly said that at some point. He was like really mad. He was like, "Fuck it sucks" or something. O'Reilly. Yeah. I'm amazed you haven't seen that clip. I had like ten friends show me that. Mm, oh. The name doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> a little disturbed. Okay. They don't have arms to begin with. How are you disarming them? Uh, maybe they've got arms inside themselves, and I'm, like, taking them out. I'm doing, like, some kind of weird lobotomy. I blew up that Geth's dick! At this level, those rockets actually, I think, kill you in one hit if you don't cover appropriately. At the start of the game, the difficulty's really weird. Like, you can die really quickly. But if you're playing any other class, you can basically die all the time because you don't have immunity, and it really sucks. All right. Gotta clear these last few fellows out, and I think we can access the bacon. Get our Prothean bacon. You know, I picked up some bacon from the store earlier, actually. It's the first time I've ever picked up cooked meat that was a breakfast food variety because I thought it'd be really good to, to combine that. Is he dead? No. There. Jeez. I thought it'd be really good to combine um, some bacon with my fried chicken salads. Hmm. I'm trying to be healthy and stuff. From what I've heard, that's a very uh, delectable combination. Oh, right, you don't really like bacon. No. I forgot about that. But when I go to restaurants, I see bacon on tons of stuff. So I have a feeling that if you were to add, like, you crumple it up, you make it like little really tiny bits, mm -hmm. and you just sprinkle it around the salad, and that's probably something that a lot of people have. Yeah, because I don't want to be the, that guy that, um... What the heck am I doing? I don't want to be that guy that, um... Gets, like, the salad with the, um... What do they call it when they have... It's like the freezer-dried bacon bits for their salads. There's a name for it? Bacon bits. That was the name. Oh. I said the name. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I've heard of bacon bits. I always assumed it was just chopped bacon. Oh, my God. But like a fast food version. Like a like they patented the name. Or like they patented a specific way of preparing it and then trademarked the name bacon bits. Uh, I just thought that was the kind of style they used. I got a recoil dampener. I'll throw that on here. I'm not a not a bacon connoisseur, so I probably not the best person to be advising on that. <laughs> Stability. That's good for us. All right. I thought it was. Oh right, because ah, oh, dang it. What's, what's going on? You can only upgrade one of these things? Yeah, you can only have one specific... Um, you can only have one, like, weapon mod and then an ammo mod for these two slots. Okay. And I thought I could equip two weapon mods. <clears throat> so. 
That was dumb of me to do. Uh, Ashley, I don't care. Caden, I don't care. He should be using a pistol. He's a sentinel. Yeah, he is using a pistol. Good boy. Good, good, good job. Good on you, buddy. Yeah. We're not really going to worry about our party members' weapon choices too much, um, considering I think most of our party members are going to be using pistols because all of the weapons will be for us, so I can get as much Omnigel as possible by breaking down pretty much any sniper rifles, assault rifles, and shotguns I don't need. Because having a lot of Omnigel is really handy in this game. It allows you to skip the hacking minigame and stuff like... You know, I never noticed that, but there's like a giant like lava field over there. Yeah, is that, that... That must be natural. It's not part of the attack, right? What in the heck? No, that's part of the attack. Because that, that looks like... That looks like a train track that got... Oh, yeah. ...effed up. But so, how did it create a molten pool of lava? I have no idea. That doesn't look like anything a ship would do. Uh, that's a little creepy. Okay, uh, I think I, I, I got the things I needed from last time. Maybe it's kind of like in Star Trek where, like, they shoot the planet and it causes volcanic eruptions. But that that doesn't really fit with the, the, the MO of the rest of this invasion. Also, for the record, uh, SRN... NT70. We had a conversation about all those random letters. I asked Rec, like, why in this future do humans put giant code numbers on every single thing, including buildings? My response was, uh, for transport ships, but I don't know if that's accurate. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have acted. I'm gonna poke it with my face. Roger Normandy, standing by. Hey Ashley, what's Caden doing? Something stupid? Oh, okay. It just occurred to me, Caden. Never mind. He was off the ground. <laughs> I thought they just put him in the air for that one Shut shot. No, don't touch her. It's too dangerous. Game over. You oh. were murdered by a bad B movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why I said game over. I should have said critical mission failure. That was a missed opportunity. We only had one of those, I guess. I have died, haven't I? Yes. I think I've died. We identified the ship that touched down Keyhole sweater? Ship. Why? The Normandy, a human it's it's sci-fi. It All evil women have to have visible cleavage. The more visible cleavage you have, the more evil you are. The humans may have used it. I'm so upset. Wow. It's like I a Power Rangers villain. <laughs> he was so angry he almost kissed her face. <laughs> this human must be. I'm so angry. Uh, uh, it's really turning me on. Angry sex time. Doctor? Doctor Chakwas. I think she's waking up. I'm glad I went with that hair option. You had a like quiet there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Uh, it, uh I kind of feel like shit. <laughs> <laughs> they just brought you in and dumped you on this table. You're not hooked up to any machines or anything. <laughs> like the morning no after shore leave. leave. <laughs> About 15 hours. That's great. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Uh. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, well, that was, uh... I mean, what about the beacon? Where's the beacon now? Kind of more concerned with that. 
The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Thanks. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. It was a really bad B-movie. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. It's a nightmare. Was what's what's a really bad me movie? I can't think of any off the top of my head. Um, you giant know spider this. invasion. Giant spider. Is that actually a movie? Yes. Wow. I can see that one. It's got Alan Hale Jr. in it. I saw. I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction. Nothing's really clear. Plan 9 from Outer Space is hmm. the seminal B movie. I'll add this to my report. It may. Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. You're not Shepard. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty oh. hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> I'm pissed off about the gaff. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted Uh, this. what happened to Ashley? Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the North. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley should have left her there with no supplies and <laughs> This no is no place for a Power Ranger. <laughs> uh, all right, she's good. Whatever. Williams is a good soldier. She She'll make a good human shield one day. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to I feel better about Jenkins. <laughs> I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good okay. job. Sir. Talk to me. Nobody could save him from himself. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain. He wanted that fried chicken. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Sorry. Things look bad. I'm trying not to tell jokes that you don't get. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me not getting them. Your viewers are going to be the ones who... We're entertaining here. <laughs> I guess, but it, it feels awkward anyway. Um, okay, let's see. I'm going to be telling jokes you're not going to get. I already have. That's fine. Uh, to hell with the council! The council can kick wow. my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do it. Makes my neck all crooked. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero. Shepard looks sleepy. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone. Specter's rogue. Creed Rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. Bad. And he hates humans. Hates humans? Why would a Turian hate humans? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do it. Okay, now it's obvious. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Uh... Well... Um... I'm not sure. How would you go across actually telling someone you had a crazy nightmare image flash of like a million different things well we already know there's a uh, prothean beacon the there it'd be like some kind of vision thing exploded a and vision. a vision of what our death that's a radical jump it was kind of warlike yeah i saw synthetics geth maybe slaughtering people butchering them we need to report this to the council, Shepard. So that they can take you off of active duty and put you in a psychiatric hospital. Forget that! They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. Well, we are. This attack was an act of war. He has We're already a blight on the galaxy. We really are. <laughs> Look what we did to our own planet. We made an island. 
out of Mountain Dew cans. <laughs> That's about a mile long. If we treat our pl- own property like that we've treated our planet, like, how do, would aliens feel like we'd treat any of their planets? Let's see. It won't stop until he's wiped humanity for the face of the galaxy. Uh, not if I can help it. I'll stop him. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. We have to expose him. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Aight. Cool.